Hey guys and welcome back. Now if you're a spring cleaner procrastinator like me, then today I have for you some cleaning tips and hacks to help you get motivated to clean, declutter and organise. So first things first, set aside a weekend to give each room a deep clean, as spring cleaning can often be more time consuming, plus you don't want to rush what you've already started. Next, why not create your own cleaning caddy and colour coordinate your cleaning essentials as well. That way you'll feel more motivated to not only clean, but to know you'll have everything in one place that can be easily transported from room to room. So if you're looking for more budget friendly cleaners, then you can always make your own DIY versions and there is plenty of natural and affordable cleaning recipes to choose from. I'll list some of my favourites and where I found them down below. Just lately I've been obsessed with watching cleaning and organising channels as I find these types of videos have helped motivate me massively. I'll list my top three favourites down below but also other ways I find help motivate me are podcasts or watching a Netflix series while I'm cleaning. If you're reorganising, I find the best way is to plan out how you're going to reorganise different parts of the house by drawing and measuring each section. That way it makes it easier to research the best storage solutions for your space. When decluttering, be sure to follow the three-step plan I've spoken about in previous videos. So this will help you make firm and honest decisions. So I always ask myself these same three questions every time I purge, and they are, when was the last time you used it or wore it in the last six months? Is it expired or old? And can it be sold or put to good use elsewhere, tossed or given to charity? To stay on top of your cleaning schedule, put together a weekly plan that's set out simply and that's easy to stick to. Remember to take one step at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed and you can focus on the areas that need the most attention first. Sometimes I tend to slack when it comes to staying on top of things, but one system I found useful is to have a separate pot to store all your dirty makeup brushes in so they don't get mixed up and spread dirt into your clean ones. Then at the end of the week you can transport the dirty ones to the bathroom to either be spot or deep cleaned. Finally, think outside the box and use trays, baskets or even plates to keep sections organised and clutter free. You can find any of these budget friendly items at HomeSense, Tiger, Muji, Wilco or Homebase, just use your imagination. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful. And also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more spring cleaning inspiration. And I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a wonderful week guys. Take care. Bye.